Hi there guys, I've been asked to show this in a little bit more detail. This is a plasma flame, aka high frequency vacuum tube tesla coil. And uh, I thought I'd just show this, you know, its component parts. So uh, this is a schematic for this device. I don't think anybody in particular owns this schematic. I think a lot of this work was done in the early days of uh, like RCA and things like that. It's basically just a tube in self-excited oscillation. So uh, what we'll show here, look. So what we have here is a uh, variac that feeds a microwave oven transformer to step up the voltage. This steps up the voltage to about 2.2 thousand volts. Then we have a voltage doubler circuit comprising of this capacitor and these diodes. This obviously then doubles the voltage to around 4.4 kV. This is just a little cap across them to protect these diodes. This is a bypass capacitor for the RF. Moving over to the tube. So this high voltage feeds the uh, this coil. This coil, coincidentally, is this coil on the tube. And this is basically just one continuous coil. As you can see on the schematic, it's just one coil and it's tapped. So the high voltage feeds this coil. It feeds this small section at the bottom of the coil. This coil then returns around to the end of the tube, which obviously oscillates and uh, feeds this. The oscillation is triggered by this feedback coil. So obviously when there's a field across this, this then generates a field across this. And uh, obviously this switches the grids of the tube. So basically this oscillates, and it oscillates quite fast, 18 megahertz. So uh, this is a schematic, guys. Obviously this is a filament supply, but that's pretty, pretty uh, self-explanatory. Just a couple of caps across the filaments there for RF. Soft start. But anyway, if you need any more help with this, guys, just give me a shout and uh, I'll do my best to help you out. I'll show this running. Right, guys, I'm about to show this running now. I almost forgot to say, uh, this small feedback winding here, is obviously which switches the grids on the uh, vacuum tube. That's actually here on the plastic form. So as you can see, it's quite a distance below the actual main coils. But that actually provides enough coupling to light this bulb quite brightly. This is obviously the grid leak resistor. And uh, it's a 240 volts at 150 watts. And as you can see, like I say, that's quite a big gap. And it does light up at nearly full brightness. It's quite surprising. Right guys, we're going to wind this up slowly then. Like I say, I've got this connected to a variac, so we'll wind up slowly. And as I do, you'll actually see the uh, grid leak resistor lamp start to glow. And that obviously indicates that it's, the tube is oscillating. And it'll get brighter and brighter until eventually we should achieve some breakout. There we go, guys. Right guys, I'm just going to pause this now and I'm going to uh, put something over that, that bright lamp so we can appreciate the uh, plasma flame. There we go guys, I've just placed something over that lamp now so we can uh, just see the flame a little better. By the way guys, this is in uh, no way optimised at all. I mean, I just basically threw this together with a random amount of turns so you guys have got a lot of scope for improvement on this. But as you can see, it runs quite well. I did actually look at this on the scope and it is actually 18 megahertz, so it's uh, quite a fast oscillation. And at those frequencies obviously you can get quite a lot of, of coupling. I'm not quite sure where the uh, spiral comes from in the flame, but it is actually uh, a wood screw I'm using, so I wonder if it's some air currents actually twisting it. That's not full power, I can crank it up to full power guys, but it does actually melt the screw, I'll show you that now. The yeah, tube's starting to get quite a hot anode now. This is a graphite anode in these uh, GUH ones, so we're quite alright to run it, you know, quite hot. Although it should be a fan on there, really.
I do intend to actually build quite a big one of these soon. I've got a couple of these uh, GU39 tubes kicking around. And uh, I think I fancy a go at one of those, but, you know, somewhere along the line, guys. <laughs> Quite an interesting phenomenon. Right, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Hopefully, it was uh, helpful to someone. Thanks for watching. More to come on this soon. Thanks, guys.